Uh, my name is Fred Moore. Dr. Tiana Jenkins. My name is Gerald Thomas. Claudette Spencer. When I was a student, Philander Smith inspired me to, to dream big. Uh, my dream is to own my own investment firm, uh, supporting entrepreneurs who have went to HBCUs and women. Um, they typically don't get approved for loans at the same rate as men and people who have attended predominantly white institutions. My dream is to one day sit on the Supreme Court. Um, there has never been a black woman on the Supreme Court of the United States of America, and it's the Supreme Court of the United States. I work as a senior advisor of the Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Clinton Foundation. I'm also the founder and creator of a wellness platform called Plated Healthy with Dr. Tiana Jenkins. I'm a communications professional. I'm the owner of the GDTPR agency. Um, and so I do contracts with nonprofits, individuals, and corporations. When I was a student, Philander inspired me to be my true and authentic self. And I'm achieving everything that I've put my mind towards. And I haven't done it alone. Like, there's been people behind me every step of the way that have been helping me and pushing me towards being a better person. And I can credit the school to that. Uh, Dr. Leah Steele, Lee President Smothers, it's Dr. Joe, Kevin Cooper, uh, Dr. Lawrence Hamilton, uh, Dr. William Woods, Dr. Raphael Lewis, uh, Miss Amita Ellis, who um, I really give lots of kudos to, who one day saw me walking around campus and she said, come here, little boy. Dr. Woods gathered up the faculty in the Natural and Physical Science Department and I did my mock capstone presentation for graduate school right here on campus and um, was able then to ace the capstone um, presentation in order for me to be um, a graduate of UAMS. The biggest thing that Flinders Smith College has given me is opportunity. I remember when I signed my scholarship here that my mom told me how proud of me that she was to see me going to college and pursuing my dreams. It's spearheaded from freshman year me walking across campus and at the time, what I assumed was a crazy woman telling me to come here, um, launched a full-fledged career. It gave me a scholarship and that was literally an opportunity. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for the opportunity to just be able to be enrolled in school, to be able to receive a bachelor's degree in political science. So that opportunity opened so many doors for me. I was able to really open up my mind to different perspectives, different ways of thinking, different um, ways of being able to connect and uh, engage with individuals, businesses and companies. He introduced me to the CEO of an investment firm called Cruising Associates. Uh, his name is Rush Harden. Uh, he was a very humble and driven man. Uh, he showed me a lot about, you know, that you can be a regular person and still be as successful as you want to be. You know, there are a lot of people who take for granted the small things, and I feel like he showed me that there's a bigger picture to everything. And people tell you you're going to hear a lot of no's and, and that you should be used to that, but I don't think so. I really think that, you know, Philander was a place that told you yes a lot. Um, and you had the opportunity to make mistakes, and this was the best place to do so. I came to Philander Smith College when I was 17 years old, afraid, uh, from Indiana, a small town in Indiana. Had absolutely no idea what the campus even looked like. But I, I came here with faith and on scholarship, which was super important, determined to not graduate in student debt. And they welcomed me in a way that I will never forget. And Philander will always be a home for me, even after I graduate in the spring.